So it's all very well unboxing products and showing you guys what it looks like and how well it performs over a couple of hours. It really doesn't really help you guys understand the product in its entirety. Really, we need to be using it over a period of time to really understand how well it performs and how well it's put together. So I've got this Jumper EX4 netbook laptop, whichever one you want to call it. And I've been using it for quite some time now with just some basic tasks, everyday usage and so far, so good. So we're going to be taking another look at it now and really I'm going to be explaining just how well it is in certain areas and some of the areas that maybe you want to watch out for with a laptop like this. So what really blew me away about this laptop was the pricing. 230 UK pounds, which is barely anything for a laptop in this country. I know I could go to my local PC store and spend about the same sort of money but get a really poor piece of kit. I know there's HP laptops which kind of have the same sort of setup but have those awful 32GB EMMC storage inside them and yeah they're not really aimed at anything other than people just purely wanting to go on the internet and it's not really my cup of tea at all. So the specifications are as follows for this laptop. It has a Gemini Lake processor, which is the latest in the series of Intel Atom processors, and it's probably one of the better ones that are available. There's been a few benchmarks, and yeah, it's performing a lot better than the previous generations, and certainly I feel that it's performing a hell of a lot better than, say, the Cherry Trail processors that you can find on a lot of these laptops. Yeah, a hell of a lot better, and especially since it's coupled with an M.2 SSD, and you're getting that sort of SSD performance, and yeah, it's really quite fast. Everything loads up nicely. Things don't take very long to, at all to do anything, especially when you're, you know, setting up the laptop, loading programs, etc. It's pretty, pretty quick. As well as that, it's all metal construction. I half expected this laptop just to be cheap plastic, but it's not. It's aluminium body, and yeah, it's solid as a rock, and it's going to take a few beatings, that's for sure. As well as that, you've got a nice keyboard. There's plenty of spacing between the keys. There's good travel as well, and it feels nice and comfortable to use. The one downside thing about this is that it is the trackpad's not very good. It's a bit slow, it's a bit sluggish, it's not that responsive, and yeah, it's not that great, but you know, it is what it is. Just get yourself um, a mouse, a wireless mouse, and that'll do the job just fine. So moving on to other components of this laptop. So we've got the keyboard, obviously that was quite nice, but it's also lit as well. So you can have diff three different brightnesses, which is really good to see. So it's certainly gonna be easy to use in the dark. We've got um, the webcam. The webcam is shocking. It's very, very poor, but you know, we've got one and it's there if you want to use it, but it's not the best to be honest with you. It's a very low quality camera. The speaker system on this is good. It's really good to see good speakers on such a cheap laptop. Normally you find really tinny, awful sounding speakers on these cheaper laptops, but it's not good quality. I'd certainly be more than happy to listen to music through this or even a film, etc. Yeah, sound is pretty good on this laptop. So like I said before, the build quality is good. It's all metal construction. It's full metal aluminium case, but there is one thing I've noticed when opening and closing the case, just sometimes it creaks and it makes a little bit of a cracking sound. I think there's a component or part of the casing is like kind of hitting off each other. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it only does it now and again. I don't think it's something to worry about, but I'll keep an eye on it. Make sure it's nothing's going to break or anything like that because there's something going on. Maybe it's just unique to mine. Maybe there's something wrong going on the, on the actual hinge of the laptop. But apart from that, it's all good. So the battery inside this laptop is performing pretty well. So I've been using it quite a lot over the course of a couple of days. I've been using it numerous times throughout the day for a number of hours each time. And yeah, I've barely charged it just a couple of times in, over the time I've been using it. And yeah, the battery performance is really good. I've been getting at least three or four hours even of usage between charges which is more than enough for me. And considering the laptop so cheap, I really didn't expect such a good battery life, but there we go, it is very good. So what can I say about this laptop? Well, first of all, if you were to put Samsung, slap it on the front of this laptop, you'd probably find this being sold for about 200 pound more. I can guarantee you that. This is a cheap, cheap laptop. And as well as that, this is using an old case, if that makes sense. So the T-Class T7, which is a using a previous generation of processor 
that had exactly the same case on it. So I suspect that the manufacturer of that case has got a whole load lying around. So they've probably sold it to Jumper for a lot less than what it would normally cost. And it, what basically that means is that Jumper may be able to make this such a cheap laptop and it's probably going to be on a limited run. So it's probably not going to be around six months from now. But for now, if you can still get hold of it, go and buy it because this is a fantastically cheap laptop and it performs really well and I'm so impressed by it especially just the fact that it's got that SSD in it as well it's really fast it's not as fast as a proper SSD no it's not but it's a lot faster than a traditional hard drive and it's certainly a hell of a lot faster than that crappy EMMC memory that like you find on laptops like this like those HP ones you find in your local PC store you know those blue things that you may be seeing? Yeah, it's a hell of a lot faster than those awful pieces of crap. So this is a good laptop. A few issues here and there. Crappy webcam. There's that weird sort of lid issue going on. I'm not sure entirely sure about that. But apart from that, great piece of kit. So the only downside would be that the fact that, yeah, it's got those issues with the webcam, etc. But as well as that, you're not really going to get much in terms of a warranty. It is coming from China at the end of the day and the manufacturer really won't have the resources available to them to provide a good amount of support. You will be able to return it to them but it will be a bit of a pain in the head. But apart from that guys, you can check out the specifications in the link below and decide for yourself whether it's going to be a good laptop or not. My name is Matthew and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com, the Facebook group as well as the Twitter and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video as well. Thanks again for watching and we shall see you very soon.